Williams, a CPA in St. Mugisha from Harvest Training and Consultancy. I'm here to take you through a very, very brief course overview of our tax practitioners course. I personally, I am a tax strategist and I've been in tax practice for a period of more than 10 years. I have taught taxation at university level. I have taught taxation at professional level under the certified public accountants of Uganda course. And I have conducted these trainings and helped very many people achieve their tax objectives. Now, our tax practitioners course was developed with our understanding that entities have started being strategic with their finances. And one way of being strategic is by minimizing their tax obligations as low as possible in compliance or in integrity with the law. Now, to the accountant, I know you have now qualified as a certified public accountant. My question to you is, do you possess the skills that shall enable an organization to achieve their tax management objectives? To you, the business owner, do you have the skills, do you have the knowledge to organize your tax affairs so that the tax liability, you see, I'm calling it a liability because it is an obligation. So do you possess those fundamental skills to keep the tax liability of your, of your business, of your enterprise as low as possible? Do you do things out of ignorance of tax issues? If you have doubts about the questions I've asked you right now, then the tax practitioner's course is an opportunity for you to acquire that knowledge to enable you manage your tax affairs. Now, to you the student, I've always told my students that when an organization seeks to recruit personnel, they are not just looking at filling that position. They actually want to bring a certain skill on board. Now, in all the interviews I have conducted together with my other colleagues, I've discovered that most of these organizations seek to bring on board that very, very scarce skill of tax management. Taxation occupies our entire space. Whatever we do, all the transactions that we conduct have a tax element. And several organizations don't know that there are several tax reliefs. There are several tax credits they can enjoy. And you find that time and again, most organizations are in running battles with a tax authority. That should not be the case. So I want you to take off just a few minutes of your time to take you through our tax practitioners course. All right, our tax practitioners course is made up of three major modules. We have the income tax module. We have the value added tax module. We have the customs tax management. Now, of course, the overall aim, as I've highlighted of the course, is to provide you, the participant, with the basic knowledge of taxation in Uganda. And this is going to cover all the aspects of tax and, of course, the hands-on skills that you, uh, that you require in handling all the tax tasks of your enterprise using real business scenarios. Now, as part of the learning outcomes, we believe that at the end of this course, you should be able to explain the different forms of taxation for individuals and organizations. You should be able to compute the different tax liabilities for individuals and corporate bodies. You should be able to have an in-depth knowledge and understanding of the practical concepts and principles of income tax returns. You should be able to solve other practical income tax problems. Uh, these, of course, which grow with the in, uh, interaction with the different income tax business processes. You should be able to uh, have the ability to examine the various line items of an income tax return, meaning that we are going to look at the various income tax returns. You should be able to file the various tax returns of income, VAT, and customs. You should be able to use the IFRS, uh, which is the new tax management information system implemented at Uganda Revenue Authority. 
Now, of course, as I've mentioned, we shall have as part of the discussion the income tax. And of course, this is going to cover five major areas. And uh, as you can see on your screens, we shall have unit one, number one, uh, which will move into the introduction to income tax. And of course, here we are going to look at the meaning and scope of income tax, section four. We are going to look at the residence issues of residents and non-resident persons, section nine. We are going to look at uh, the various uh, URIA e services uh, for registration, payment of taxes, motor vehicle registration and such, plus stamp uh, duty. We shall cover again in unit one, the registration of taxes in Uganda, Unit number two, we shall move into the taxation of employment income. And here we shall focus on the taxable employment income that as per section 19, subsection one, we shall look at the tax exempt employment income. We shall look at determining the tax liability of an employee. And we shall move into the preparation and filing of the PEE returns. Here we shall have a practical hands-on activity to support that foregoing discussion. Um, unit 3 moves into presumptive tax and here you'll be able to learn, the, you should, you'll be able to appreciate the meaning and scope of presumptive tax which is the tax regime for small taxpayers. You'll be able to appreciate the presumptive tax rates. You'll be able to uh, appreciate the tax registration for presumptive tax. Of course this is going to be demonstrated using the, the URA e services. You'll be able to appreciate the presumptive tax e-return submission procedure and of course there we shall take you through a hands-on step-by-step uh, e-return submission. Unit 4 moves into the taxation of property income. Here you'll be able to appreciate the taxation of dividend income, the taxation and handling of interest income, the taxation of royalty income, annuities and natural resource payments. You'll be able to appreciate the taxation of rental income and all the new changes that have come in in the taxation of rental income are going to be discussed in this very very interesting unit number four unit number five will move into uh, the taxation of chargeable business income and here we are going to be looking at uh, cases where you're going to be taxed on your profits rather than a turnover as we have seen in the case of presumptive tax uh, we shall be able to appreciate all the deductions that are approved and allowed under the Income Tax Act. And of course, here we're going to look at Section 22 up to Section 38 of the Act of the Laws of Uganda. We are going to look at some of the capital deductions and that are available to the entity. Then we shall move into deductions not allowed. Of course, there are those deductions that are not allowed, which businesses uh, may not know. We shall bring these ones out. And then we shall go into a step-by-step -step process for the return submission. Now, in all the discussions we are going to have, we shall have practical sessions where we are going to look at how to um, handle the tax affairs if you are facing uh, issues of business income, issues of employment income, and so on. We shall move into the preparation of the payroll. You'll be able to look at the various uh, payroll formats uh, that are implemented at different entities and you'll be able to appreciate the generally accepted format of the payroll. We shall uh, further interact with various sources of information when it comes to the computation of pay as you earn like the appointment letters. Uh, I will be able to present to you real appointment letters for an organization and we shall move through that activity together. Then when it comes to presumptive tax, I'll be able to uh, share with you some of my clients that have handled under the presumptive tax uh, regime. Uh, you'll be able to appreciate how I have been able to help them. When we go into the business income uh, under the deductions allowed, I'll be able to present to you some of the financial statements of my clients. Uh, of course, I've been able to convince them that I'm going to use these financial statements for uh, training purposes. And of course, the opportunity you have is that some of these clients, I have not yet filed their returns. So you'll be able to work with me, able to work along each other and uh, be in position to arrive at the uh, corporation tax liability that is payable by these various clients that I have in the pipeline. Under the value added tax, we shall be able to look at a number of things. We shall understand what is VAT, 
uh, we shall look at VAT registration and of course as you know there are four major types of registration compulsory we shall look at voluntary we shall look at forced registration uh, we shall move into the obligations of a VAT registered taxpayer all these are going to be discussed we shall look at the supply of goods what this means under the VAT laws we shall look at the supply of services uh, looking at exactly what this one means we shall look at some of the taxable supplies uh, we shall look at the meaning and scope of taxable supplies as you can see on your screen all this is going to be covered under that we shall look at the exempt uh, supplies we shall look at um, uh, zero rated supplies we shall look at standard rated supplies uh, we shall look at mixed supplies exactly the meaning of mixed supplies and if you have a client if your business is into mixed supplies what are you supposed to look out here we shall look at output tax versus input tax the meaning of this and of course there are various discussions we are going to have we shall look at um, other taxable supplies we shall move into uh, issues of input tax the conditions for one to claim input tax very very important issue there we shall move into the accounting for VAT we shall look at cases where you can account for VAT uh, on cash basis and look at the cases where you account for VAT under uh, the accruals uh, basis okay we shall look at the VAT payable okay we shall move into all this we shall look at the general apportionment, uh, apportionment method and so so much more so um, of course I should mention that this is an opportunity for you and um, we have taken a lot of time as I've mentioned I have a lot of experience in taxation I have done the teaching I have done the practice and of course this is a very very important course just for you I cannot present everything here I have a lot on customs I have a lot on IFRS uh, a lot of issues on practice I'll, I'll be able to take you through um, the uh, working papers that you need as a, as a tax practitioner you'll be able to appreciate the bidding process if you want to offer uh, tax consultancy and all the experience I've generated over these years I'm willing and able to share it with you so um, I want you to go just below this video and click on that link uh, which is going to take you straight to the registration form fill in your registration form and all the numbers are indicated uh, send us a whatsapp send us an email let us know the time you have uh, that we can arrange we, we have um, uh, we have organized of course uh, classes of maybe 10 and 5 or if you want a one-on-one -on -one, we can still come in and give you that training so I hope to hear from you take this chance take this opportunity and just with an investment a very very small investment which I'll discuss if I get your registration form I'll be able to discuss with you uh, the fee it's very very friendly and that small investment is going to uh, pave your way into the tax uh, consultancy into going to turn you into a tax expert you'll be able to answer any question that comes along uh, along your way when it comes to taxation and you'll be able to handle any tax matter that will come along your, your way so I remain yours uh, CPA Innocent Mugisha please get to um, get to me through the, that WhatsApp call get get to me through that email if you're our student you know where our offices are on uh, Karl Marx building you can always come to our offices can talk to us and we shall be in position to help you I wish you all the best and let me see you in the training